How's it going? I am so excited to share this hair tutorial with you guys today because this is my favorite hairstyle for summer. And I know I probably say that with every single one of my tutorials, but this one really is. It just looks so difficult and different and I love it. And I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to recreate. So before we get started, you're just going to need a handful of these clear elastics, probably about five or six of them. And then you're going to need a hair clip that can clip out large sections of hair. Now you want to make sure that your hair is brushed, free of knots or tangles, curly, wavy hair, doesn't matter, mine just happened to be straight today. So you want to part your hair on the side slightly deep and then the side that has the most hair is the side that we're going to make the braid go down. So we're going to be creating four sections on the back of our head and for our first section you just want to follow your part down and then along the side of your scalp like this. So that's our first section. So I'm going to have to turn around to show you guys where to secure these ponytails and how. So one second. Alright, so for our first section, you just want to separate your hair at about a quarter of the way across and you want to make sure that you separate it well so it doesn't get tangled. I'm wrapping my hair elastic around three times and as you can see, my pony is about an inch high from my neck and you just want to tighten it nice and secure so it's right against your scalp. Our second section, just draw a line right down the center of your head, pretty straightforward, and make sure that it is at the same height as our first section and secure it off and tighten it. Now with that first section, you want to divide this into two even sections, and we're going to pull that second section through and clip it away. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So now grab those two pieces that we split in half, and we're going to combine that into the third section. Make sure when you're doing your third section that you're pulling hair from the top of your head as well. And try to grab those neck hairs. I clearly missed mine this time around, but I didn't have a mirror, so I'm sorry. So you just want to tie these ones off with your clear hair elastic and make sure everything is nice and smooth and flat against your head. So I'm clipping our second section. Divide that into two and we're just going to pull those two pieces around our third section. And then what you want to do is clip that third section out of the way. So now with this last section, I am pulling all the hair from around my face and we're going to secure it with those two pieces. I'm leaving the hair behind my ears down. If you find this part confusing, feel free to join it into the ponytail, but I want to leave my down and you'll see why. So unclip that last section divide it into two pieces and I'm just pulling it underneath that ponytail. You can clip that ponytail out of the way but I find at this point it's easy just to leave it out. Now very last time we're going to do this, this part isn't secured against our head and I'm going to join this in now with all that hair that was behind my ear. So I'm just going to tie that off. Again if this part's confusing just make one big ponytail and you can go from there. When you're finished, you should have two pieces like this. You'll have one underneath, and then we have one over top. What I'm going to do before we pull apart our hair is I'm actually just going to pull out some pieces around my face just to frame it so it doesn't look so big and round. If you want to curl these pieces, you definitely can. It looks amazing if you do. And I'm just going to pull out my hair a little bit just to create more volume as well. All right, we can keep playing with this after. I'm gonna turn around and we're going to pull apart our pull-throughs and this is my favorite part, you guys. It really makes the look, it's awesome. Okay, so once you're happy with everything and the way that it looks, we can start our fishtail. So the pull-through actually kind of looks like a cheating fishtail, so we just want to continue that look. So I'm going to grab that top section, the bigger one, and divide that into two equal pieces. And you want to try to start the fishtail as high as you can, just so that the whole thing flows together. And we'll be joining this bottom section in a bit. Now, because our pull-throughs are so large, when you begin the fishtail, you want to grab large sections at first, and then the closer you get to the bottom, just grab some smaller ones. So you just grab outside piece, put it into the next section. All 
All right, so you can see it's starting to form. Now what you want to do is we're going to combine it with our bottom piece. And I'm actually just going to tighten that piece a bit. There you go. So I divided that bottom piece into two and just join them together. And then continue the fishtail. You do a couple more large sections and then start doing some smaller ones. So once you get to the bottom, before you tie it off, we just want to pull it apart. And I'm going to start with the top and just pull on the outside pieces. Just do a little bit at a time. If your layers pop out or anything, it's okay. The messier, the better. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I love this hairstyle. Once you get the hang of it, it is so easy to do. And lately, you guys have been sending me your recreations of my hair tutorials, and I have loved it. So please don't forget to share them with me on Instagram, and I'll be setting up my Facebook and website very shortly, so you can share them with me there, too. So thanks again so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!